We count on the electric power grid every day. But do you know how fast it's changing? Or how much we all benefit from the electricity that runs our economy, powers our homes and businesses, and makes innovation possible? Most of us get electricity from our local electric utilities at the flip of a switch. Part of our electric bill goes to pay the utility for the amount of electricity we use. Another part goes to support the cost of building, operating and maintaining the grid or the infrastructure that reliably delivers this power to us. Today, some customers are putting rooftop solar panels on their houses to generate their own electricity. Most of these customers are still connected to the grid and use it 24-7. Sometimes, rooftop solar customers use the grid to buy power. Other times, they use the grid to sell extra power to their utility, and they get credited for the electricity they sell under a policy called net metering. Because of the way this credit is calculated, rooftop solar customers actually pay less to support the grid than everyone else, even though they still use it around the clock. This shifts the costs of maintaining the grid from solar customers to non-solar customers, which isn't fair. We're all working to improve the ways we generate and use electricity, and outdated net metering policies need to evolve and align with today's technology. A smarter, stronger, more reliable electric grid benefits all of us. So it's only fair that everyone who uses the grid, rooftop solar and non-solar customers alike, should share equally in the costs of supporting it.